What's up guys, Patrick here. Moving on to another word problem. We're told a ball is thrown off a roof and its height in meters after t seconds is modeled by h is equal to negative 3t squared plus 18t plus 21. Got three questions to answer. So let's start off with number one. What is the max height and when does it happen? So when does the ball reach the max height? Well, we have this function here. of the height modeled with the time. So to find the max height, we can just convert this to vertex form. So complete the square, take out a negative three from the first two, and then um, we would take half of negative six, which is negative three, square it, plus nine minus nine, Keep the positive 21 outside. Um, take out the negative 9, multiply it by the negative 3, which becomes positive 27 plus 21. And then from here, you got negative 3, t minus 3 squared. That's what this bracket factors into. And then 27 plus 21, that gives us 48. So the vertex of this is 3 and 48. So what is the max height that the ball reaches? 48 meters. And when does it happen? Three seconds after it is thrown. So 48 meters at three seconds. That's the answer to number one. So we took the height and then just completed the, um, the square, put it into vertex form in order to get that maximum value. And we know it's a maximum value because this parabola is opening down, the A value is negative. Okay, what about number two? Um, how high is the roof? I don't even know why I erased that function because I need it again. Um, now, when they're asking you how high is the roof, what they're asking for is basically here. That's when the ball is thrown off the roof and then it's gonna reach a max height and then it's gonna hit the ground. So how do we find this here? Well, notice this is time, this is height. What's the time here? The time is zero. So how high is the roof? The way you find that is you plug in T is equal to zero into the function. And when we do that, notice we'll just get 21 right there. So that's the answer for number two. The uh, roof is 21 meters high. The way we found that, plugged in T is equal to zero. Now, because this is in standard form, then these just go away and you just get 21. But uh, if this was given in vertex form or maybe factored form, then you'd have to do a little bit more algebra when plugging in that t value of zero. You'd have to multiply stuff, square it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but when it's in standard form, it's super easy because these just go to zero. And then the c value, that's the y-intercept when it's in standard form. Okay, so, so far we know it's thrown off a roof that's 21 meters high, and then at three seconds, it reaches a max height of 48, right? The vertex is at three and 48. So now that we have this diagram drawn out, let's go to number three. What is the domain and range in this scenario? Okay, so let's start with the domain. What's the domain gonna be? Well, this is actually pretty tricky because what we have to do is we have to find out when does the ball hit the ground. We need to find out this time here, right? Because the time is gonna be between zero seconds and that time there. Sorry, this should be T. T is an element of real numbers. So zero, uh, time is in between zero and the time that it hits the ground. So we have to find when does it hit the ground. The way we do that is we have to find when is the height equal to zero. So if we take this, I'm gonna do it down here. 
t squared plus 18t plus 21, plugged in 0 for h. How do we solve this? Notice this is just a quadratic equation. So you could plug this into the quadratic formula, and actually you're going to get two answers because one of the answers is going to be this negative here, but we would ignore that because you can't have a negative time. You would just take the positive time. So you could throw it in the quadratic formula if it doesn't factor smoothly. In this case, it does factor smoothly, actually. So this would be t squared minus uh, 6t. Keep writing x. Uh, minus 7. So this would be negative 3t minus... Uh, 7 t plus 1 then from these factors here it's easy to tell the intercepts are what t is equal to negative 1 and then t is equal to positive 7 so this is negative 1 and then this here is positive 7 but again the negative you would just ignore you can't have a negative time so from the time it's thrown the ball reaches a max height at three seconds of 48 meters, and then it hits the ground at seven seconds. And it makes sense that it reaches a max height of three because the intercepts are negative one and seven. So notice that three is the halfway mark, right? The distance from negative one to three is four. The distance from three to seven is four as well. You gotta be careful not to take the halfway mark between zero and seven, because at zero, it's not an x-intercept, it's a y intercept. Unless it's starting at the origin, then it is an x-intercept and a y-intercept. But in this case, uh, there's no x-intercept at that t-value of 0. It's at negative 1. So the midpoint between negative 1 and 7 is 3. So it makes sense that we got 3 before when we completed the square. Right? Another thing, again, this is not always going to factor smoothly. So a lot of times, you want to uh, throw it in a quadratic formula, and this would be a decimal answer. Another thing is it's not always going to be in, uh, given in standard form. Sometimes it will be given in factored form or vertex form. If it's in factored form, it's nice because you already get the uh, intercepts. If it's given in vector form, you're going to have to expand it and then put it through the quadratic formula or factor it if it factors smoothly. Right, so the domain, finding the domain is uh, pretty tough sometimes because you have to find when does the ball hit the ground. Okay, the range is easy because we already have the maximum height of 48 meters. So the height is between zero and 48. Right, so that's the domain and range of this scenario.